when nothing seems to go right? Ah. Ah! Some days you just feel like you've fallen off the wrong side of the bed. Today is the big day. I've decided to tell Audrey that she has to stop ignoring me. I'm tired of being treated as if I don't exist. I mean, I'm a human being. I think. Audrey, I'm tired of being treated like I don't exist. I get the feeling this is going to be one of those days. I'm tired of being treated like I don't exist. Uh, I'm tired of being treated like I don't exist. I know how to get people to pay attention to your crow boy. You do? You bet your by touch bench. They say be careful what you ask for, because you might get it. Hey! Anybody! Up here! Sha -la -la. La -la. Nobody even saluted. Go away! Even the birds don't know I exist. Actually, you get a very nice view from up here. There's no telling how long I might have been stuck like this. Lucky for me, it started raining. This is it, my big moment. <clears throat> uh, Audrey, I, uh, I, I, uh, Audrey, I, this is really it. <clears throat> Audrey, I'm tired of reading seated like, I mean, I'm fired of seeing needed. I mean, I'm wired of being feeded. I, I'm. <sighs> uh, would you like a vase? No, thanks. I'll just eat them here. Huh? I've got to nip this bad seed in the bud before he nips all the buds. Hmm, maybe something for dessert. How about something to help wash that down? Uh-oh. Who do you think you are? I don't know. Who do you think I am? Don't tell me. The roof is leaking again. You know, you're not the only flower shop around. Just the cheapest. Furthermore, are you still having a special on carnations tomorrow? Seymour, how dare you insult our best customer? Don't you know he eats more flowers than anybody on Skid Row? But Mr. Mushnick, I didn't do anything. And I suppose one of the plants did. I can tell him, but he wouldn't believe it. You're lucky I never get around to paying you, Seymour, or you'd be out of a job. <sighs> To be or not to be? I think that's a trick question. Sometimes I think people might be happier if I didn't even exist. Sometimes I think I might be happier too.
attention unappreciated Maybe this world would be a better place If I were never created I'm just a doormat, I'm a floor mat When it comes to being good at nothing I'm an overachiever If I were to vanish, turn to vapor There'd be nothing in the paper about me Or on the TV news either Without me Actually, I've always wanted to see the sewers No matter how miserable you feel You always know it's warm and safe at home Unless you've forgotten your key <sighs> Well, at least things can't get any worse I had the strangest dream. I dreamt there was this weird green light. And then this voice said, Seymour Quellborn, this isn't your life. Who are you? I am the ghost of Seymour passed over. Here's my card. Weddings, bar mitzvahs, and other occasions? So I freelance a little. Anyway, I've come to tell you that your wish has been granted. Really? You mean Audrey's gonna notice me? No, meathead. The wish that you never existed. Of all the wishes I've made, he picked this one. Come on. Let's make like dead leaves and blow. Where are we going? To a place you've never been, because you've never existed. Get What do you care? You don't exist anyway! Hey, it's the little shop of flowers. You mean it was. I'm Rowan. Rowan! What's going on? Why is the little shop closed? The only thing that made the plants in the shop grow was Junior's vegetable magnetism. But since you never existed, you weren't around to bring Junior to the shop. So the plants wilted. Gee, I guess Mr. Mushnik needed me after all. No, not really. Psst, hey, buddy, you got any money? Just a few dollars, I say, by not hiring some nerdy kid to work in my shop. It was the best thing I ever didn't do. You want to buy some frozen yogurt? I'm too depressed to eat yogurt. How about a frozen yogurt shop? I couldn't eat one of those either. I don't want you to eat it. I want you to buy it. Wow, look at this crowd. I help you? I'll have a vanilla with daffodil topping. One vanilla with daffodil topping coming right up, sir. One million and twenty-two, one million and twenty-three. I'm so happy we got rid of that yucky flower shop. If all those plants hadn't died, we'd never have gotten so rich and happy. You can say that again.
can't hear you. You don't exist. Great. The only time she talks to me, and I'm not here. You know what, Daddy? I think I finally decided what I really want to be when I grow up. That's wonderful, dear. What is it this week? I want to star in job training films. That's a great idea, but don't you have to go to job training film school for that? Not if I buy a movie studio. Can I have next week's allowance in advance? Sure. Here's a million dollars. Good luck. Wait a minute. Aren't you supposed to be showing me how miserable everybody would be without me? Hey, if everybody made the world a better place, it'd be perfect by now. This is kind of disappointing. You think this is bad? Where do you see what happens next? Ah! No fun being a bully without a nerdy little weenie to pick on. At least pain misses me. Not for long. It's sort of like being a Oof. filling without a cavity. Mouthwash without bad breath. Dental floss in a world without plaque. Maybe I should give up being a bully. Hand in my spitballs and give back all that milk money and bologna sandwiches. But what'll I do with all my free time? Oof. Oof. Great idea, boy. I'll dedicate my life to world peace. This is starting to get a little unbelievable. The Nobel Committee takes great honor in presenting this year's prize to Mr. Payne Drillo, founder of Bullies for World Peace. I'd like to thank all the little people I used to beat up on who make this award possible. It's nice to be remembered. I especially want to thank that special weenie who turned my life around. But since he never existed, I don't know his name. I guess you never really know how your non-existent life is going to affect people. Had enough? I know I have. <laughs> Science lab. But that's impossible. I blew it up just this morning. How many times do I have to tell you? You weren't around to blow it up because you never existed. Eureka! I've discovered a cure for the common cold. Pyrotechnic. I sure am glad I sit next to you instead of some non-existent nerd. I'm just glad no one blew up the science lab so I could use it to benefit humanity. Please, I can't take this anymore. Can't you just let a guy not exist in peace? Oh, stop feeling sorry for yourself. You haven't seen the worst part yet. Skid Row Cemetery? Don't tell me I'm dead. How could you be dead if you never existed? Hey, that's right. But then what are we doing here? Re-elect Krellborn? Lance Krellborn, the mayor of Skid Row. Lance? Since you didn't exist, your mother had another child. Handsome, athletic, brilliant, nothing like you. Skid Row hasn't been the same since he was elected mayor. It's all part of Mayor Krellborn's beautification campaign. <laughs> hey, what's the idea of leafing me out of this dream? Who's the weed with the attitude? I'm this two-legged sprout's best bud. He means my only bud. Your bud doesn't <gasps> exist. And since he never found you, neither do you. <gasps> so why don't you go not exist somewhere else? Why don't you make me, you rootless wonder? Out of my way, Seymour. I'm gonna juice this piece of floating mulch. Huh. First I don't exist, and now I exist twice. There, that's better. Great, now I'm the only thing that does exist. Hey, who's having this dream anyway? Look at me when I'm talking to you. You better put me back where I belong or I'm gonna start humming one of those stupid songs that you can't get out of your head. Hey you, the one in the mirror, you wanna change? Get a clue. 
Rearrange your thoughts in your mind, paint a picture that's well defined. Imagine yourself on a higher plateau. The farther you dream, the farther you'll go. Change yourself in the world that you live in. It's gotta be 100% that you're given. See the madness as each day goes by. Nothing beats a failure except the dreamers try. Like I said before, you gotta do it a little something like this. I had a dream, touch the world. Hate plants and fibers, boys and girls. You got a dream to find morality. Be true to your dream, it becomes a reality. Dreams, keep your head to the sky. Cause nothing beats a failure, except the dreamers try. You know what I'm saying? So let me put it to you like this if you don't understand. Dreams, a very powerful tool. Best of all, dreaming is cool. Cause if you don't dream, just where do you go? It takes a field of dreams to make the mind grow. Dreams. 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 Yo, Seymour. No people around. Now that's what I call a dream. Junior, get in here. What do you think I'm paying your peanuts for? To sit around on your pot and do nothing? The guests need watering. Yes, Mr. Mushnick. Hello, Audrey. You're growing in my light. At least she knows that I exist. Hey, how'd you like to be transplanted head first? <laughs> Them. Don't just stand there taking root. Feed them. Yeah, it's soup. It's just a bad dream, Junior. It's just a bad dream, Junior. Junior, wake up. You're having a bad dream. What a horrible nightmare. I dreamed I was you. I dreamed I wasn't me. I wasn't anybody. It must have been that can of sardines I had for supper. Maybe I should have taken them out of the can first. Go get me something to settle my stomach, like a ham, a few pizzas, a side of beef, and a little Danish. But it's pouring rain outside. I only came back because I was locked out. What have you got? Water in your ears? I said, feed me. It's nice to be needed, it, isn't it? You know, you're right, Junior. No matter how insignificant your life seems, dreams can give you hope and a reason to exist. Yeah? What's that? <laughs> so I guess that's pretty much the meaning of life. Why don't you make like a potato and hit the sack? Would you like to hear a story? As long as it doesn't have any dream sequences in it. Goldenrod and the Three Little Sprigs. What happened to three little pigs? Do you want to hear this story or not? Sorry. Once upon a vine, there lived... I'm glad you need me, Junior. Still, it'd be nice to know that somebody else cared. Mushhead's the name. Flowers are my game. Who? Right. It's your mother. She says she misses you, and she wants you to come home. Go figure. She misses me. Hi, Mom. 